Hey crafters, welcome to Paulette's Pretty Paper Crafts. It is December 1st, 2017, and my mother's birthday is the beginning of December. I came across these very unique kitchen utensils at my local Walmart Supercenter, and I couldn't pass them up. They ranged from $2.47 for the more expensive items to $0.99. Cents. I just thought they would be fun. She has a new house, and I just thought it would be something bright that she could put in her new kitchen. I'm also creating a card from some pre-colored items. I'll do that a lot when I get new stamp sets. Just stamp a bunch and sit down and color. So these utensils came in several different colors, purple, hot pink, grass green, and light blue. They would have been great by themselves, but I couldn't resist getting the all purple. This knife was 99 cents. Um, this frosting spreader was 99 cents. I thought these were just really fun. And this scraper is heat resistant to 400 degrees. Love that. This was one of the $2.47 items. And then this spatula as well. Very useful, very fun. I love these little can colanders. You take the lid off your can and slip it over the end of the can and pour the liquids out. I love them. I bought one for myself a month or two ago. And I just think it's really neat. That was one of the 99 cent items. So I also saw these Pioneer Woman tablecloths. I think they're really beautiful. I think they're in keeping with this same color theme. Uh, Mom has an oval table, but she's taken the leaf out. I did call her and discuss the tablecloth with her just to be sure and get the right size. So we opted for a round tablecloth which will fit her table just right. I found this really great reusable shopping bag at the Dollar Tree, so it was a dollar. And it's this nice plasticky bag, and I thought it also kind of went with this color theme here. And she can, you know, carry it in her car and use it when she's shopping. I also need to store these utensils in something I've spent about $25, so also at the Dollar Tree, I found this giant mug. This is about a 16-ounce mug, and it's super heavyweight. It's got the really thick bottom, so it will stand up really nicely. And these fit in here just perfect, and it was a buck. You cannot beat that. So I'm going to dress it up with a piece of ribbon that is in my ribbon stash, and this ribbon goes great. It's from Craft Smart. You know, I used to buy those at Michael's for a dollar. I like to cut my gross grain ribbon at an angle on the ends. So I'm just going to pull out a length that I think will make a nice bow. And then I'm going to cut the other end at an angle as well. And then I'm going to burn the edges just a little bit. I'm just melting them so they will not unravel. I can't stand ribbon that has that little shred of thread hanging off of it. So this is my, my choice, my option. And I'm going to tie a bow. I'm going to manipulate this so that the printed areas remain on the outside. So you'll watch me twist it so that the colored areas remain on the outside. I'm just going to flip this around, manipulate a little bit, pull the colored area through, and then tweak it just a little bit so that all the printed areas are to the outside. I have this tiny Crisco I got at Dollar General. I ran out of Crisco some time ago, and I ran in there because I didn't want to go on the back 40 in Walmart Supercenter. And all they had were these tiny little Criscos, and I thought that would just be kind of funny to stick in there. Here is my little drawer of pre-colored, pre-stamped, and I'm just going to flip through here and find something that's kind of in this color theme that I've got going here, these purples and greens. 
Either of these would be fine. This is a super cute image that I painted some time ago. I've got all kinds of stuff. You know, when I get a new stamp set, I will just sit down and stamp, 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 and then color. And I don't really have a card at the moment, or I do, and I've colored several, and I'll just store them in this little drawer. I've chosen some pink cardstock to use as a mat just to help that pop, those kind of pink and purple jars on there. I've got a blue card base, and it's going to be a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card. And I've also got a printed piece of cardstock that I'm going to put on the inside since this blue cardstock is so dark. I wasn't sure which side to use, but I ended up using that little X pattern. I think it goes better with my, my whole theme. And I just used glossy accents to glue all of these layers together. I lost some of that video, so I apologize for that. I think this turned out just perfect. You know, that's what I do when I'm in a crunch mode and I just need to grab something and go. I don't have time to color. I just go ahead and get something that's pre-colored and just glue it together and rock and roll. Well, I hope you guys are having a great fall, beginning of winter. If you have any questions, be sure and let me know.